Apple ProRes 422HQ 4K 24 FPS. Hello, hello, welcome back. Okay, so we're gonna be setting up the camera now. Here are the boxes. So this is the cage. This is the the small rig clamps. Uh, and here's the here's the SSD. I'm loving this SSD. It's so compact and so beautiful. I I just can't stand it. It's it's amazing. Here the camera body, which is the most important thing of all, of course. I watched a quick tutorial on how to do it, so I hope I can accomplish it. So first things first, I have to remove this plate. There's a tool here that you can use for that. And then you just release this, um, you know. All right, get that out of the way. And then this one as well, we need to take it off. Well, I'm actually going to switch the camera so that you guys can see closer what I'm doing. Okay, so I just took the quick release and the secure lock, whatever you call it. And now this grip, I put it in there, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't go there. Oh shit. Then let's get everything we don't need out of the way. Oh, let me put this in here. I, I just realized the microphone was really far from me. I hope you guys were hearing me. So I'm, I'm basically trying to loosen this up so that I can get the camera in, but it's not fitting in there. <sighs> Thanks God, I think I have the correct size. Okay, so this is the one it brought. And I think this is the third one in here. And it fits perfect. There you go. I'm pretty sure I bought this for some reason. I bought this model for some reason. So if they are like either they have the best uh, value for the price, but then after I realized that they don't have the SSD clamp and you cannot attach one because it doesn't have screw holes. Oh, there you go. No, no, no. My bad. My bad. I think this is the right one. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, there you go. I'm sorry. Okay, so this one should be for something else. Let's put it back in here. So never mind. Thank you, Zero. It's really tiny though. Okay, so you just take it off. And now we put the camera in here. Oy. Be careful with my beautiful camera, bro. It's not fitting for some reason. Oh, I think it's just like you don't need to push it anymore. Like a really nice, see, really nice fit. Okay, so then after that, it's this lower lock down here. Tighten it up. I like this S looks like Superman. <laughs> Okay, so we got that done. It's nicely tight in there. Now this lock on the sides that holds there where you should actually put this, uh, the strap. I would put the strap in there. Okay, let's just continue. So you get this little thing in here. Okay, it fits perfect. There you go. It fits right there where the strap all those and then you just take these little screws and screw them in oh yeah there you go here's where you where you use the strap now i don't know if i trust these little tiny screws all right so that's nice and tight let me see if i can figure out where this thing was i think it was here over here yeah there you go and uh now this top handle it has these two kind of secure things and then you just put it in place and screw it in okay i feel it's a little loose so let's tighten it up with one of, of this uh i think the one it brought is actually for that purpose where are you here you are so you just put it in here and you can tighten stuff. Okay. Nice and tight. Oh yeah, there you go. It feels really good actually. Still I'm a little concerned about using this strap. So yeah, it feels good. Now what else? What else? What else? Okay, so we got that. Now the quick release plate, which is this one. 
screwdriver. Okay, nice and tight. All right, so we have the quick release, we have the top handle. There's a strap that comes with it so that you can hold it here. It's kind of more secured. So let's get that done first. Okay, so these two holes here and here. Uh, yeah, it's nice and, well, uh, it's a little bit loose. So I'm gonna tighten it up a little bit more. Okay, I think that's nice and, oh yeah. Feels good. The first thing I notice about this camera is this people complain about it so much because it's so easy for you to move this. So if you see the videos, that's true. Okay, so I'm basically gonna be using the camera like this or like this. All right, so this is fair enough for now. I already have a battery in here, but if you need to change batteries, it's just pressing this button and it opens up and you can change it so there's no problem and also everything else. So now let's connect the SSD, which is the first time I'm gonna be connecting it. Oh, well, we need to first attach this SSD handle, which I was a little scared about because I thought it wouldn't fit, but it actually does because I thought the SSD was way bigger, but it's, it's not that big. Okay, so you can see that this one does bring the clamps for the cables, which you're gonna notice in a second. Okay, so I think this is the best spot for the SSD. I just don't have whatever goes in here. I'll need to find that out. In the meantime, I'm gonna try something like this, or like this, like this. Okay, like this, there you go. I think this is the perfect spot for now. Okay, so this is a clamp for the cables. I guess I just release this one here. Okay, so let's put the disc in here, nice and tight. Okay, holy Jesus, this is looking awesome. It's looking awesome. I mean, I'd, I'd prefer to have it here, like laid down, but this is looking good. Let's see if the cable actually is able to hold position in there. Nice and tight. So one of the clamps I bought, I'll actually, I think it's time to use them. So this is what is missing. It's supposed to have holes here, so you can buy an adapter that can kind of hold this in place, but it doesn't. So if I accidentally, for some reason, take this SSD um, board out, I'm screwed. So yeah, that's something you guys need to definitely improve. I mean, it's not loose at all, but anything can happen when you're recording. I really want to use one of these clamps. Yeah, so I guess I'm, I'm going to be using it here on top. Maybe here. Like that. Eh, I like it, it looks messy. Let me try without the top handle and the SSD on a, on a different position. All right, so I guess this is the best I could do. So I have to sacrifice this top grip for now. And just have the SSD on top like this. Then I could use one of the clamps here with the cable. I think that's the best for now. I can just use the camera like this without worrying if I'm gonna, you see? It's really tight in there. Yeah, but if you watch this video, Siri, this is something you need to improve. Either create a clamp like this one that you can put in here, on one of these holes, or I don't know. If you create a second version, the users that already bought this one will not be so happy. So I guess your your best shot is to create one that you put in there and it works here. It is really uh, not good. Okay, but I at least can use the camera and everything. So let's now put on the lens and configure it. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the 20 to 60 feet lens. Here it is. Oh, there you go. Camera is on. Let's go to the menu. Okay, 
Okay, so I guess, yeah, there you go. So I'm recording vlog now, but it's looking like Rec 709. Let's test this. All right, so I'm testing the Lumix S52X right now. You can see me there. Let's see how it looked like. Apple ProRes 422HQ 4K 24FPS on the kit lens 20 millimeters let's see what it look like uh, if I crank it up yeah. all right so there you go okay well I think it's a little bit bright so let's set up the filters okay. this is a 67 millimeters adapter let me clean this up. I don't want to scratch anything. But yeah, let's put everything where it belongs. I think you belong over here. Yeah, and you're from Tilta, so you go in the box. And you, Superman, go down here somewhere. Yeah, there you go. Everything in place. I'm really picky with my stuff, at least when I just got them. <laughs> well. That was stupid, because I need to use it anyways. Okay, so I guess I put this in here. You screw it in. After it is screwed in, you put the VND filter first. Which is this one. Oh, Jesus, this is strong. Ooh, snaps right in. Right, the camera looks way more pro now. How do you like that? Okay, so this is the CPL. Uh, I need to read a little bit more. So this is the ND, definitely. But for the CPL, I know there's a way for you to unlock the CPL. All right, but I actually don't need this one right now. So I'll just put on the promised filter. Holy sh... It's something else I saw in the reviews that these little screws can get lost really fast. Just look at the size like the tiniest thing ever okay so i guess let's just take it off protect it and this is the promised which i'm not taking off the camera ever now it needs to be attached i think it needs something else maybe this one Yeah, definitely. I'll have to watch a video on this one. Well, hope you guys liked it. I'm gonna clean everything up and uh, do some B-roll and see you in the next one. If you liked it, if you have any questions, just drop them in the comment section down below. See you. Great things coming for this year. Bye.